Hey everybody, it's Leanne with Paper Heart Scissors and I am so glad that you can join me today for a really fun and summary card that kind of covers a lot of ground but does show off some um, embossing on acetate. And these are the cards we're going to make today. They're very ice cream inspired and they came from this sketch that I did. And I did this sketch because I made all of these little ice cream cones. I actually stamp them on um, some watercolor paper and watercolored them and I didn't like how they turned out so I decided to cut them out and use them on a card and then I had that paper source ice cream cone on the wood block stamp and I had these waffle flower scallop dies and it just felt like it was going to be very ice cream parlor and I have that great um, big bold stripes background stamp from Simon and so the first thing I did was do a little sketch. I knew I wanted to um, make something very bright and colorful, um, stepping away from the pastels a little bit. And I just got my inks out with the um, ice cream stamp and just decided to test some. I, I was looking at um, my swatches and I knew I wanted to use that pink, that plastic flamingo from Lawn Fawn. That's a brand new ink for me. And then I love the bright orange of the um, Tangerine Hero Arts hybriding because both of those inks matched a lot of the little ice cream cones that I had painted and put stickles on um, to decorate them. And I was trying to tie them into this card. I just didn't like them sitting alone. And I thought they would be really cute under a shaker card. And so I wanted to do something with um, bringing those colors in. So I inked up um, the back, uh, or I mean the background, the bold stamps background stamp with the Flamingo ink. And I'm just using a top folding uh, five and a half by 11 inch card and I'm placing it on the background stamp very carefully. And you can see that I actually missed a couple little spots and I just took my Fantastics and I just used a little bit of that ink on the end and kind of put it into place and it really, it dried beautifully. No one's going to know that um, I didn't quite um, use my regular method, which is putting a piece of paper on top and using an um, acrylic block on top of that to rub over it really helps me and I didn't do it I was kind of in a hurry and so there's the beautiful tangerine and that pink flamingo and I set up the waffle flower dies actually on another card front so that when it gets cut out I can use that card front it leaves a little pierced rectangle around there so I'm going to line up that scallop frame that was created with the two different dies nested inside one another and I'm going to use some of this heat resistant acetate and I'm going to prepare it with my powder tool very carefully make sure because acetate is super super um, staticky and then when you use your embossing ink and your stamp on the acetate be very careful not to wiggle it around too much it's very slippery so you want to just press down and lift straight back up because otherwise it will smear it. And then I took some um, Hero Arts brass embossing powder here. I, I don't have their gold and I have their brass which I really like. It, it really is a beautiful gold to me. It works well for me. You can see I had to brush a little bit of the embossing powder off of this one. The other one was actually fine. I don't know why um, it works so well on one and not the other, but that's okay. So just cleaning that up with a little paintbrush. It's, this is a great stamp to do this with because it's, it's very simple. The, the drawing is very simple. So you don't capture the lines with this because on acetate it's going to kind of smush in with the um, embossing powder. And then I heated up my heat tool. Here's the trick to this. You have to do it very fast and keep moving it away. So once you have your heat gun heated up and nice and hot, you see how I'm moving it out of the camera and I'll pull it away and I'm not keeping it in any one area for very long. And you can also pull it back away from it and you'll get a really beautiful um, embossing without 
really warping um, and stuff. And then I'll just kind of press it down with my hands, but it really um, worked really well. It was really wasn't um, warped very much at all. So it was pretty, I was pretty happy with that. Um, I'm going to put all of my little orange uh, ice creams. Uh, you can see the little glitter stickles on them. I just colored them with I just watercolored them really simply and then put that orange stickles and the pink stickles on top. And I am now going to, well, we're almost ready to assemble. So I need to make a couple of the little sentiments. I actually did another challenging embossing moment. I stamped these with VersaFine Black Ink from my ink chart, um, which is a free download on my website. You can... Um, go visit me there and get that. But I used VersaFine with some clear embossing powder on this vellum and just kept pulling it away and wanted to make and looking at it, wanted to make sure that everything was good and it's really perfect. Now it is curled here but paper does not have a memory as we um, know and so you can really bend this out and it's fine. Just let it cool down completely. So here we are ready to assemble. I have all of my parts now um, ready to go and I'm going to make those shaker windows. So I'm going to take the frames and I'm going to attach, um, use some Tombow uh, uh, glue runner, a permanent glue runner, and I'm actually centering the little cones inside of the window where I want them to go. And I had to trim that one just a little bit. Um, so that they'll fit in there perfectly and, and make the perfect window. And I'm going to stick that down on the back of each of these. And then I'm going to um, add some foam tape. And then I'm going to arrange my little um, popsicles and ice cream cones on the background piece and use this to make sure that I'm putting them where I want, where I'm happy with them. So you can see I will put that down and I'm going to put the other one down and they really fit beautifully into this little frame. They're very pretty and the gold, the embossed words, you can see there's no warping. It's really, they turned out really well. Um, and then I am going to, um, well, you can see that I've got to add my foam and oh, here's a, 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 it's a preference for you. I actually only added one layer of foam, which doesn't give you tons of movement with your um, with your sequins if you really want them to shake around and move a lot. I knew I was using these bigger pieces inside and that they were going to be fixed. And I kind of wanted the um, sequins. The sequins I'm using are very small. They're the little summer sequin mix from Simon Says Stamp. So I actually only used one layer of foam tape. However, if you want things to really move around in there, um, then you can use two and things will shake around a lot more. Also, um, you do not need to make these and decorate them and cut them out to make this a great card. You could literally stamp them in a pink color or another pink color through that window. Um, or you could stamp them in black and color them uh, behind the window. You do not need to make them. I, remember, I had these, so I needed to do something with them instead of just let them sit in my little I'm not happy with you box on my desk. So um, you could do this a bunch of different ways, but I actually think that I'll make a couple more of these cards because they're pretty easy and, and they're, really, they're really fun. But I will not go to the trouble of making and cutting out all of those separate little um, treats from the stamp set. I think I will just stamp them behind, maybe in a, um, a lighter pink or another peach or maybe even like a bright yellow would be really fun. Um, of course, you could also emboss them behind there in gold as well. Uh, and, um, and that would be fun too. And you could have them be sitting inside uh, and they're different scale than the other than the big ice cream cones, so it's kind of fun. So I'm adding the sequins this time on top of my artwork instead of inside of my frame because I want to make sure that I center this frame between those stripes 
and over the art exactly where I want it to go and I have some wiggle room because of the border so um, you know that's sort of an exception usually I would put the sprinkles inside the frame and then put the card on top but this worked really well now here's another little tip there is some vellum tape or tape runner that I just used there and I will put it in the supplies below and it actually is pretty invisible I can't see it I did put it behind the sentiment um, but it, it was pretty invisible so now I'm finishing the yeah, the orange one and I glued those little popsicles down same process I'm putting my little sequins on the inside um, and I am um, and you can if you don't have sequins you could just put um, you could put dots of perfect liquid pearls or you could even um, let those popsicles move around in there you could glue a couple and let a couple move around um, so lots of options but just an idea and then there it is again I'm using that vellum tape and I will list that for you guys and I'm noticing that I got some adhesive on my frame so I took my gum eraser and I'm just taking that off it just takes anything that's sticky off of your cards um, beautifully so those are the two cards for today and I hope you were inspired we used a lot of different products um, and some different techniques as well there are three um, other card kit cards over on my blog and I will be back soon if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do so and I hope you enjoyed this sweet summer card take care and see you soon bye bye